Hey guys, Boris Osborne from BK. Great to be with you. It's been a long time, no talk. I've been super busy setting up the BK Asset Management website with Kathy and uh, just getting our business off the ground. Also been trading a lot on my own prop account here, so I wanted to kind of uh, stop by and share with you some of the ideas that I've been trading over the last uh, month and a half that I haven't talked to you guys on, on the website. Um, we're off to Singapore and Australia for the next two weeks, so my, I'm going to put my trading on pause. But in the meantime, as uh, many of you have been following me on Twitter know, Flow has been just balling and really making uh, a very, very good uh, trades over the last uh, several weeks. And basically, I think I've got it working to a point where I'm very, very comfortable with the system. But before I start uh, showing you the setups that I've been that I've been trading, I want to go back to the idea of, of, of my column today because I posted the three simple things you need to trade FX, and my number one rule was that you do not ever want to trade large. And I think I want to emphasize that rule one more time on a day trading basis because I think I want everybody to understand exactly how I trade. I, at this point, do not risk more than 1%. My standard trade size is 1% risk per trade. Now, that doesn't mean that it's the only risk I'm going to take all day long. I may take two or three trades uh, during the day. Generally, I basically take between three to four trades a day. So overall, I could conceivably be having a 4% risk on a day. But that is why every single trade has a contained and controlled risk of only 1%. I do have a little bit of variance. If I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the trade, I'll bring it down to 66 basis points. And if I'm a little confident in the trade, maybe I'll take it up to 1 point, 130 basis points. That is it. That is the only variance I allow myself. Every time I deviate from that, every time I try to increase the risk and size, I pay very dearly. And then it takes weeks and weeks and weeks of recovery before you get back to your fresh high water mark. So if there's nothing I have taught you over the 400 and 500,000 views that you guys have seen on this channel, it is this one cold, simple fact. If you're going to day trade with me on an intraday basis, you never risk more than 1% per trade. Um, so now I'll get off my soapbox. Let's get to the setups, which I think are, of course, what everybody really wants to see. Um, you guys are familiar, of course, with the BK Flow setup. It's been doing well. We've been killing it on, uh, over the last uh, week and a half and really been very, very controlled and defined in what I'm trying to do with the BK Flow stuff. This is a variant of the thing that I've shown to everybody um, several times over, but I really um, have been trading this preferably actually ahead of the BK Flow many times. And it's basically the uh, the RSI Flow. The idea here, again, this is the Euro Dollar. Oh, sorry, this is the Euro Yen. I'm on the wrong. Uh, I'm on the wrong thing. Let me just take the euro dollar. Okay, here's the euro dollar. The primary, the primary uh, instrument for this trade is the euro dollar. This is uh, what 727, which is today. 726 yesterday. The key idea here is again trading only in the high liquidity hours, which is between 4 and 11 a.m. New York time or whatever it is GMT time. You guys convert at this point. I'm too tired and too sick to try to convert it out to you. But bottom line is between London and New York, I'm, I'm trading um, only those hours. And what I want to see is I want to see the uh, the RSI to come up above the uh, the 60 level. So in this particular case, let's go through candle by candle. So here we are, 5 o'clock New York time, that's uh, 46. At uh, 6 o'clock New York time, it's 48. Then we have a massive jump, 71.60. That's a great looking strong candle. There's a positive flow. This, by the way, I think, what was this yesterday? This is yesterday with uh, Draghi making comments, right? Those of you who followed me on Twitter, I, you saw I was all over this trade like a like a cheap suit on rice, basically saying this is a major market mover. It is a huge uh, differential in how the euro is going to get traded. But a lot of people were were trying to short this thing all the way down to the 120, and this was going to generate a massive short squeeze. So I definitely wanted to join this trade both on a technical and a fundamental basis. Of course, getting long here with a 50 stop, 30 target, very very easy, very smooth trade. It had absolutely no retrace for the next next three hours. Then we go into. Um, Asia today, and we have a little bit of a sell-off. By the way, you know, beginning we had like around three o'clock, we hovered around twenty-three. Then we had this massive flutter when the Germans once again try to try to basically pour cold water on the whole idea of um, uh, of of doing unified uh, intervention by the ECB. But then Merkel and Hollande both come out and say, "Hey, we are uh, supporting the euro. We're all uh, for it." Coming out over here, as you can see, the euro really starts to uh, firm up. It's uh, 54 on the RSI. Next candle is 65. Great candle over here. Uh, you take the trade at 23.10, which is the close of the candle. Again, 50-point stop would have would have put a stop at 22.60. The 
uh, move in the euro was actually very, very choppy. And actually, it, it went down against you before it came back up. It went down to like 22.69. Very volatile trade, which is why I always leave these 50-point stops. If you get taken out of 50, that means the volatility is too much and you want to be out of the trade. But having a 50-point stop kept me in the trade here for the day. And then eventually, of course, the big move up back up through 23.50. And then through the 2350 all the way out into the 2383 before we had a massive reversal at the end of the day. Again, volatile times, um, they're going to catch you up and down. But the bottom line is if you were tactical in your approaches today, the trades really worked very, very well. Going back, um, there was very little price action actually uh, on the 25. Actually, there was, there, was, there was a trade on 25. Sorry. On 25, again, 4 o'clock New York time, 53 on the, on the RSI. At 5 o'clock New York time, it moves to 66. Nice, big, strong move. We're bouncing off the 120. It's starting to squeeze out to the short side. If you took this trade basically on the assumption that I forgot what the uh, what the uh, funda trigger was behind it. I don't think there was that much funda trigger on the 25th. But the bottom line is if you took the trade at this point, um, uh, when it moves through the 60 on the close, the close was 21.27. Stop was uh, uh, 20.75 against a 20.57. Within uh, three hours, trade makes money. It, it punches right through the plus 30. Uh, target. So your dollar is the smoothest, cleanest, and purest way to trade RSI flow. Uh, this week was supremely good for it. It's never going to be this good always, but it was certainly very good this week where you had three clean plus 30 trades, very tactically uh, taken out of the market, um, and you could have traded them really, really well. In addition to which, one of the things that I've been kind of doing is I've been trading uh, the euro crosses off this idea as well because if the euro trends, especially the euro, euro yen, tends to be a very, very good trender as well. Um, on the 25, you had a move here. Uh, again, let me take you through. 4 o'clock New York time, 52. 5 o'clock, it goes to 64. Getting long here at 86, you uh, basically hung out pretty much for a full day cycle before you had a massive move um, up here um, on the 20, on the 26 against the um, uh, the whole idea that you know that ECB was going to come in and support. This was this was a Draghi comment move that helped both the euro and the euro yen. But today was actually a very cool day where I traded the euro yen. For those of you who are uh, uh, who watched me. Um, so we're coming in here at 5 o'clock New York time. We're at 45. We're at 6 o'clock 50. We're at 7 o'clock at around 58, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 8 o'clock, you know, 58. Then we move into 9 o'clock hour. 9 o'clock hour becomes interesting in my opinion because the U.S. GDP number comes out. It is not as bad as everybody thinks. It's, it's around 1.5. Kathy was the first one to print. Everybody who followed her on Twitter, she said, no QE, no QE, no QE. No QE is positive dollar yen. That means no QE. That means it's positive um, dollar and positive dollar yen. And that means that you have the support on the second half of the leg on the euro. In addition to which, we're still positive risk at that point. And I said, hey, those of you who are playing positive risk may want to look at, 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 at euro yen. So what's cool about the euro yen, by the way, being long this thing, from this position was that when we had that flutter in the euro it wasn't nearly as severe in the euro yen as it was in the euro itself you came in at 27 i think that the, the the dip down was around 17 you really had virtually no retrace and then boom 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 and um the trade makes money within two hours on this trade as well so you can use both euro euro yen and i even look at euro aussie um, as a potential candidate for these rsi flow trades during the high frequency liquidity hours i'm going to leave you guys with this as my best and final and hopefully a wonderful setup, I will not be trading for the next two weeks, but I hope you guys will be trading in my proxy, and I hope you guys will be banging it every single day. Um, tweet me. Let me know how it's going. Let me know if you have any ideas or modifications. I'm always open to, the, to new ideas. I wish you guys the best of luck. We'll be back uh, on the, uh, what is that, the 15th of August, and I'll be back in the flow, back in the game at that point. Uh, over and out for Boris uh, and Kathy at BKForex.com. Have a good one.